One year is a long time in AI. If a project here survives more than one month, it seems that that project has some metal. GPT for all has survived for full one year and still it is one of the most popular GitHub repo out there. In this video, I'm going to revisit this GPT for all because they have just released the version three, which is not only quite easy to use, but also it is full of features. We will be installing it locally and then we will be playing around with it. By the way, there are two versions of GPT for all. One is through their desktop application and second is Python SDK. In this video, we'll be just doing the desktop application. And then in the next one, I will be showing you a code through which we will be using its Python SDK. GPT for all is completely private desktop application. Last year, when I was way more dumber than I am now, I also reviewed it. And even then I was very, very impressed by it. It was really amazing. And the, one of the best thing about this and GPT for all was that it was not only easy to use on Linux Mac, but also it was quite good on Windows. And now fast forward exactly one year, you can still run this GPT for all on any operating system on any device. And when we say any device, it means that any computer, they say that you can run it on CPU, which you can obviously you can run GPT for all application on CPU, but what you need to understand is that you would need to download the models and then in order to get proper performance from the model when you are doing inference or you are doing RAG, which is retrieval augmented generation, you would need to have a GPU. So I would highly recommend that even if an AI power tool, which is using LLM says that you can use it on CPU, doesn't mean that you should just leave everything else and go with CPU. I would still highly suggest that the harsh reality is that you would need a GPU anyway. Still, it is um, completely private. It supports thousands of models and all major operating system. In this version three, it has a very, very improved UI UX um, um, elements, which you will be seeing shortly when I show you it uh, with the demo. Also, it is MIT license, which is quite broad, not bad at all, and it still enables you to have local document chat powered by Nomic Embed. So this new version marks the one year anniversary of the GPT for all project by Nomic and it brings a comprehensive overhaul and redesign of the entire interface and local doc user experience. So this, uh, by the way, has already got uh, 250,000 monthly active users and 65,000 GitHub stars and 70,000 Python SDK download. So this uh, project has really stood the test of the time. Enough talk, let's go and try to get this thing installed on our local system and then we'll see how it works. Before I show you the installation, let me give a huge shout out to Best Compute who are sponsoring the VM and the GPU which I will be using for this video. If you um, are looking to get these GPUs on affordable price. I will drop the link to it in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Cool. So now let's come back to the installation. In order to install it, all you need to do is to go to its GitHub repo, its website, and I will drop the link in video description. According to your operating system, you can just simply click um, on Windows OS or Ubuntu. So I'm using Ubuntu here. So I'm just clicking on Ubuntu and you see that it has already given me this run file here. So I'm just opening the folder which it has downloaded here. You can simply double click it to run it. And you will see this welcome screen here. Just click on next. And then again, next, you can just select your directory where you want to get it installed. I'm just going to go with the home directory of Ubuntu and then select the component, accept the license, next, and then install. And you will do the same thing on Windows. If you want to see the detail what exactly this is installing, you can check it out here. And then let's wait for it to get installed. So this is one of the best thing and how uh, good is that, that it is a single click installation. You don't have to install any dependencies or anything like that. So let's wait for it to finish. 
and installation is finished T took around 30 to 40 seconds and then you can exit by clicking on finish here and then you can click on your application you can search for it i'm in ubuntu but you will do the same for any other uh, operating system it, then you can click on this desktop application and it is going to op this is going to just show you the desktop entry so i'm just going to run it from my terminal you can also run it from here so go to your uh, terminal from there in the home directory where we have installed this gpt for all just to ls you will see there is a bin folder and i there is let me click on bin there is a chat file so it's simply you can run this chat and that is going to start it on your local system and of course you can um, opt in here or i'm just going to say no and there you go so we have it started so in order to start using it you can simply click on start chatting and then it is asking you to install a model which you can use click on install a model and then just select whatever model you like from hugging face you can search it i'm just going to go with this llama 3 instruct just for the sake of demo and then it is also telling you a bit about what exactly are the ram requirement file size and all that stuff and by the way it's not a full model it's a quantized model with q40 so let's wait for it to get downloaded and model is downloaded as you can see you can remove it if you like and you can even download more models so on the left let's click on chat and you can just load that model here so on the top you can see it is loading let's wait for it and that's there you go so you can just start chatting with it like what is happiness okay and it is going to answer you all running locally now you can disconnect your internet and talk with this model in private uh, you don't need an internet connection for it there you go and you see how good the markdown format is it don't have it's very very finely written on the left hand side you can just manage your models here i will shortly tell you what local docs is and if you click on this settings you can go with the dark theme which i prefer by the way much much easier and then you can even increase the font size and this is much better large will just go out of my screen so that is fine and then auto uses here what exactly you want you want cuda or what so i'm just going to go with the auto one i think this is just automatically using it hopefully which is vulcan my nvidia rtx a6000 which i already showed you which is running by the way with the courtesy mass compute so i'm just going to go with auto and default model download path lot of other stuff api server you can also serve it for example if you want to serve um this as a server you can serve it on this port but you would need to restart this uh, software but that is fine port at 91 is good and then there are a lot of other stuff so there are settings for models here which model uh, this is a llama 3 and then you can set your system prompt and all those hyper parameters and these are our local docs now when we come to local docs local docs means that you can chat with your own document or in more complex language this is what rag is retrieval augmented generation where you have your know, own personal files you want to bring intelligence of ai or power of ai to these documents so you just use rag so how it works is that behind the scene this uses nomic's own nomic embed rag function or rag model which is called as nomic embed and we already have covered it on the channel so you create a collection and this collection is a collection of your own documents and it uses nomic ai's free and fast on device embedding models to index your folders into text snippets that each get an embedding vector these vectors allow us to find snippets from the files that are semantically similar to the questions and prompts you enter in your chats and then these semantically similar snippets in the prompts are included and provided to the llm so this is whole rag thing is so let's try to add a collection here so let me upload a small file which will contain my own personal information 
So in order to get started with Rag, just simply click on Add Doc Collection, and then just give it any name of your choice. For example, if you are doing finance data, maybe you say finance collection, marketing collection, or whatever, then you can select the folder path. Let me put my file into a folder. So I'm just opening a terminal here. Let me deactivate this. This is a folder one. So I'll just say my info and move .txt into my info. And if I show you this my info file, it just contains my personal information as what I do, where I live and all that stuff. So let me move it here. Let's click on browse and just select the my info here, open and create collection. So collection has been created and you see it, installation is in progress on the right hand side. What it means is that it is converting that all the content of this folder by using this nomic embed text model here into numerical representation, storing it into vector store and then we can talk with it. So let's wait for it. Now it is creating an index on top of it. Okay, so you see what is happening here. I'm just going to, instead of taking my, no, I think it did the right thing. My invite thought it is in the home Ubuntu, so that is crazy. Okay, anyway, so let's wait for it. I'm just going to remove it. So I just corrected the mistake there. Earlier I had just put in my home Ubuntu directory to it, but now I have pointed it to my info, which contains my personal information in two text files. Maybe I'll quickly show you that too. So if I just clear the screen, go to my info directory, and then these are the two text files. And by the way, uh, the great thing about GPT-4 all is that once you give it the collection directory, if I would add any file to this, it will automatically index it and include it here. And that is what it did uh, earlier where uh, it update, updated it and now it is creating the embedding on top of it. And that is bit of a uh, slow process so you have to just wait for it to do even if the files are small it takes a bit of a time that is what i have noticed so once that is done you can just go to this chat and from there maybe you can click on new chat and click on local docs you see it is still updating because i had put in another file there you can even add more docs but it will uh, just prolong the process so once it finishes updating, all you can do is just select it and then you, it says that one local doc collection has been selected and then you can chat with it. Also, you can click here to load your model. Once you click here, you see that Lama 3 instruct is loaded at the top. Embedding on my files is complete. So I have just selected it on my local docs. And if you now ask it the question as who is Fahad Mirza, it is going to use that Lama 3 instruct which we downloaded and then it is saying that based on the provided snippets, Fahad Mirza appeared to be a technical blogger and all that stuff. There you go. And it is also telling you two sources. If you click on them, these are your files which you uploaded. So pretty good. So that is what GPT-4 all is. I think one of the easiest and um, I would say very, very a friendly interface front end for running large language models locally and privately. I will drop the link to its repo in video description. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.